An apartheid police officer is dead. João Rodriguez would have been standing trial for murder. He was recently uh, hospitalized for, for complications and he was also in intensive care um, for some time. But, uh, but he, was, he was recovering at home and we're not exactly sure what happened, but he, but he, he passed away uh, uh, almost immediately. Rodriguez was charged with the murder of Ahmed Timel, an anti-apartheid activist who died on October the 27th, 1971, at the disreputable John Foster Square, where accidental deaths occurred with frequency. A year later, an inquest ruled that he jumped to his death. His family scornful of the verdict. The most significant thing for us was to overturn the 1972 inquest. The 72 inquest was a complete farce. Of the deceased, which could not be a 2017 ruling. Indicate that the deceased sustained physical assault while in police custody prior to his death. Timel was murdered, overturning a 1972 ruling of suicide. Where did you that what mark? I saw him how he opened up the window. But Rodriguez denied having a hand in Timel's murder in office 1026. And I saw him diving through that window. There was overwhelming evidence that Rodriguez was economical with the truth. And this is why we wanted the criminal trial to commence so that, you know, he could provide his explanation once again, knowing very well that if he was found guilty, you know, he would, he, he would face uh, uh, imprisonment and jail time. Just after he was charged with Timor's murder, he attempted to evade trial. Oops, he then has 19 other court appearances from the 30th of July 2018. And his next court appearance was scheduled for the 30th of September, which was this month. And those proceedings were postponed because his legal team had taken his application for a permanent stay of prosecution, Ketla, to the full bench of the South Gauteng High Court. In 2019, they dismissed his application. His application also dismissed by the Supreme Court of Appeal earlier this year. We then proceeded to appeal to the Constitutional Court. Now, now, it's not an automatic appeal. One must get a leave to appeal. And we are now waiting for the result. We are waiting for the directives of the Constitutional Court uh, that we hope we will get soon to, to pave the way forward. But uh, in principle, I can just say that it's possible for the Constitutional Court matter to proceed. Of course, the criminal matter cannot proceed. The reality is that he and his legal team have beaten the system. Uh, dragged this matter on for, what, three, four years, um, not having his day in court. Um, and for me as a nephew who's fervently fought this matter, wanting to know the true events of what happened to my, my uncle, uh, never emerging because, because he's passed on. A person is, 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 is regarded as innocent until he's found guilty. And so is Mr. Rodriguez. They, they hit my son tremendously for Timor's family apartheid crimes must be prosecuted in a democratic era it can still be done uh, and families this is what families want uh, but not to haul the NP into courts all the time but a genuine honest commitment on their part to work with families directly to make sure that these matters get the necessary attention it deserves to pay tribute as stated in the preamble of the constitution of this country. We, the people of South Africa, recognize the injustice of our past, honor and serve those who suffered for justice and freedom in our land. And, and, and how are we preserving the legacy? How are we serving justice? By allowing ap apartheid perpetrators to die under our watch without holding them accountable. So, so, so this is where I am converting my anger and my energy towards in completing this book and most certainly to work with other families to ensure that in their lifetime that they find closure. In the final analysis, what transpired on that spring day of 1971 may well be buried with Rodriguez. Mahakeita Mutlabe, SABC News, Johannesburg.